Hey guys, I uh, have not been able to get out here in like two and a half months, maybe. Uh, I did a bunch of work on the Impala. It blew a lower intake manifold gasket. I did not film it because I was working a lot of hours. I was just kind of doing it here and there on the nights. I have a second car, so I didn't really need to jump right in it. But that being said, if you look around here behind me, the garage is a damn disaster. Uh, I got some more lockers, a couple more toolboxes that were given to me, and uh, it's kind of been a disaster. So that all being said, I'm probably going to get rid of that dresser over there. Uh, I was hanging on to it. It was my mother's, and I've had it for a long time. And quite honestly, none of the drawers open. It, it, it fights me every time I need to get in it, which is why the top left drawer is almost always open. So I'm going to disassemble it. I'm going to save the top because I can use the top as a, a little workbench, kind of like that. Just somewhere to set shit on. Uh, in fact, it will probably go right there, is what I'm thinking. But those lockers are probably going to go against the wall where those cabinets are. The cabinets are going to come down. I don't know that it will all be today. But that's kind of where I am. As you see, I still got my truck bed for the Beetle. I want to get back to working on that. To do that, I've got to clear this room. Uh, I have to have room in here to work. It's January now, and today is a warm day. I think it is 40 degrees. Uh, this is the last warm day from what I was told. So, I better get to it. I'm going to put it on a time lapse, I suppose. And... <sighs> try to make some headway i'm also going to swap out that welding cart with this welding cart uh, it was given to me it rolls significantly better and it's a hell of a lot more stable it doesn't try to tip over every time i use it so wish me luck that's where i'm at see you guys in a little bit guys i got a bunch of stuff moved i got me a uh, very nice pile of garbage not the saw horses but those aren't far from garbage uh, i was cleaning out the dresser found a ton of welding clothing which quite honestly i forgot that i even owned uh it was all from when i was significantly thinner it's all uh, extra large and a couple 2x and i wish like hell i fit into that but i'm way too fat for that nowadays <laughs> and that's okay uh, I don't mind being the big guy. Uh, I mean, it's always nice to be thin, but, yeah, you know, fat guys get loving, too. Uh, I took all the hardware off the dresser, uh, mainly just for sentimental value, because I always kind of liked it growing up as a kid. Uh, it's this half circle. It's kind of curved out. I don't know. It always kind of stuck with me. I always kind of liked it. I'm thinking maybe put that on the inside of the doors as a door pull on the Rat King, uh, I might do that. I might save it for something later or put one on the outside hatch for like a, a pull up lid. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but the dresser's all stripped out. It's ready to be tore down. If you can see here, kind of, 
there's an outline of a bottle here. And that's from, I don't know, I was probably 10. And I dumped or knocked over a thing of cologne that was my father's, but it was sitting on my mom's dresser. And it ate the finish off the dresser. And man, like I thought I was dead meat. I thought she was going to murder me. And to my surprise, she didn't. Uh, and she really didn't complain to my dad other than saying, you know, we need to refinish this. Uh, that being said, it never got refinished. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. I, I know this might be a kind of a boring video. I really can't get into the car though until I get some areas clear. So I want to cut back on the time lapse. I just thought that was kind of a little thing to throw in there and add. Also, it's really dusty, but little RC VW Beetle. And anyone that knows me knows I've got VW Hot Wheels everywhere. I've got them here. I've got them in my bedroom. I got them up here. I've got on my desk at my computer desk. I mean, they're everywhere. So that's, you know, something eventually when I get the garage straight, get it all cleaned up. I'd like to insulate the garage, although I don't know that that will happen anytime soon. But once that's all done, I think I want to take all the Hot Wheels I have and hang them up out here. So that being said, I'm going to cut back to a time lapse. the dresser out of there lockers are over here in place however you see down here at the bottom I was wanting it to set up on that wood shelf there at the bottom on the, the footer boards however it does not appear to be tall enough to do that my original plan was to cut the back legs off and set it up on there um, if I do that it's not going to touch the ground at all on the front I would still like to do that and I still might I've been kind of tossing the ideas around because no matter what it's getting mounted to the wall it's gonna have multiple mounts down through the wall and it's got a two studs it can hit one of the center and one on the far side it will be stable enough to use uh, man I was really hoping that would slide right up on there but I do not believe it's going to work without leaving a big gap behind the lockers. And I sure don't want to do that. Uh, every inch counts when you got a garage that's like 16 feet wide. I mean, this thing's tiny. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me another drink of my NOS because uh, I dumped like every single tool out that was up on there on top of that toolbox. Uh, Moving this, it shifted, hit that. I should have known better. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. Uh, got everything moved around where I wanted it. The garage is still a disaster. That's okay, though. I think I'm going to cut the legs off the bottom of the lockers i'm waiting on my saw to charge because i really don't want to use a grinder with as much crap as lying around in here uh that's where i'm gonna store these ramps at it's pretty well the perfect size so i guess everything worked out in the end that being said i cleared the red toolbox out but the one below it which all the drawers opened two minutes ago uh well 
Now it's acting like it's locked. The door at the bottom opens. The lock is not engaged on the bottom. The large drawer rolls out. Uh, that's the one I was just playing with uh, in the time lapse. The top four drawers do not. So I guess I'm going to have to play around with that. I'll do that probably off camera somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this as a separate video or if I'll just add it to uh, maybe tomorrow because I want to try to get back out here tomorrow because uh, I have to get this done so I can get back on the beetle. Uh, come Joel, June, June of 2022, my oldest daughter Lilith graduates. Uh, been a long time coming. I've got uh, two kids. Her is a senior and Lucia is a freshman. But every year when they do graduation here locally, they do a student parade before graduation. Basically, the kids get together. There's, you know, they all showcase their cars if they want. They decorate them. Or they can have a family member's car go in. Uh, and again, it's a lot of big muscle cars, a lot of Corvettes and Mustangs, stuff like that. But then you got like kids daily drivers you know i mean there are toyota camrys and civics uh not that civics a bad thing by any means hell i've even seen a couple impalas and i'm like mine and lord knows they ain't fancy but i really want to have the car done by june because she wants to be driven in my truck uh she's always kind of been into the truck she's always really liked custom cars uh, when she was younger, she'd work in the garage a lot with me. Uh, she does not like doing so on camera. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think she's been on camera here uh, when she wrecked her Dodge Avenger that I put back together. But that being said, she, you know, she doesn't necessarily want to hang out with her big fat 40-year-old dad. Uh, but it's okay. She's a good kid, great student. She did great in high school. Uh, she's actually contemplating being a union electrician like myself and her grandfather. I don't know. I, I think she can do it. Uh, I don't know that she will do that. Uh, whatever she chooses, we'll support her. And, you know, she's a good kid. So I'd really like to get the car done. I know I'm getting kind of off topic. But that all being said, I'm going to end it for today because, quite honestly, I got what I wanted done, but man, it sure doesn't look like I got anything done. The garage is still a disaster, more so now, I think, than when I got in here. It now has bits of wood all over it, <laughs> uh, most of which probably just go to the burn barrel. It's, God, I think that dresser was bought in 1970 something, 72, 73. Uh, my mother had it the, my entire life until uh, 2005 when she passed away. And basically, shortly thereafter, I've had it. And it's been in two apartments, been in our first house, it's now in this house. It made it out to the garage actually during the last house because it started falling apart. It didn't want to open the drawers, end up a garage fixture. And when I moved here, it was one of the first things I put in this garage when I built it because, quite honestly, I didn't have anywhere else to put it and I wasn't putting it in the basement of this house because the basement is treacherous to get into. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off. I will see you guys either here in another second or tomorrow, depending on what I see. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I just uh, I decided to come back out. I had a couple more minutes. Uh, after I went back in and did some stuff, and I was going to mess with this, uh, try to get it open. As you can see, got it open. I uh, feel really dumb afterwards. Uh, I pulled on it, pulled on it, pulled on it. The bottom never was locked because the lock is in the open position. I don't have a key to even turn the lock. Uh, I knew it had opened before. I still got to clean it out, 
But for whatever reason, I closed the bottom, started, you know, moved it over here, and it wouldn't open. I honestly thought it was just out of square or something. Well, unbeknownst to me, the bottom, when the door is closed, if you push the drawers all the way back till they latch, there's two bars, one on either side, and they kind of pivot up and down. Well, when you open the bottom door, as you see it, pulls out. But when you push it all the way back in and close it, like, or fully open it, that's what releases these drawers. They're, the two bars are, like, spring-loaded, and that thing actually opens the doors. So, yeah, I felt pretty stupid. <laughs> but... In case you have a Craftsman box that you're given and it does something retarded to you and makes it so that you feel dumb, that's how you open it. <laughs> so I want to get going and keep cleaning this and uh, cut you back on if something interesting happens. If not, I'll just be time lapsing. the legs cut off and those fit pretty well perfect I don't think I could have gotten much better so all in all I mean I know that's a little bit but that gets those giant things out of the way so we'll go from there and see what else we can get done well naturally I'd move and the smoke follows me burning off a bunch of cabinets I got a good portion of the dresser in there uh, some of these other white cabinets uh, got all the drawers to go uh, I won't bore you with that but I figured I'd show you real quick it's a nice night for a fire barrel and uh, we'll go from there hey guys I'm out back again today working on the garage a little bit some more I uh, got the last load burning back there in the burn barrel um burnt until about midnight last night of a bunch of different stuff including one of my saw horses this one that goes on the top here i uh was being a jackass and stood on it for a few minutes to reach something up top in the loft instead of climbing the ladder right behind me because that would make way too much sense well, I busted my ass, and uh, it broke. So, probably a bad idea, but, you know, people do stupid shit all the time, and that was my stupid moment. Uh, trying to believe that I'm 18 again, and uh, half my size. But, that being said, I got a really dumb idea. As you see, I started putting some stickers up. I got my big IBW fist. I love that sticker. I've wanted to put it up for a long time and uh, didn't really want to put it on a car because I have a bad tendency to go through daily driving cars, especially a lot of places I work. Uh, I've basically hit a deer every year since 2015. Uh, that's not even a joke. Uh, some get totaled, some cars not so much. Uh, hell, I just hit one of my new Focus. Uh, well, not new, but new to me. And, uh, fortunately it didn't cost a whole lot to fix, but I got a really dumb idea of taking those lockers, spin around here and put them where that toolbox is. Take the shelf down or the cabinet down and do that. That way over there in that corner, I can slide the lawnmower. I can put the rear portion of the lawnmower back behind the counter, like tucked into that corner and that will really get it out of the way because it has to stay in here through the winter i don't want to set it outside it cost almost as much as my impala when i bought it which is ridiculous so i kind of want to take care of it you know, because it's the first nice lawnmower i've had in my entire life uh 
That all being said, I'm also contemplating taking the rear portion of the beetle and just pitching it, giving it to a scrapper, and the bench seat, and taking it and putting it up there in the loft. So, I'm going to go find a tape measure inside, because Lord forbid I have one in the garage that I even remotely knew where it was. Uh... I'm going to measure that opening and see if it is as wide as the lawnmower. Make sure that it will fit. And then I'm going to dig my way back to it through all that crap. And I want to see exactly how I mounted them. I believe they were screws, but it has been so long. Uh, it's been a couple of years, four or five years, six years maybe. But yeah, no, that's what I want to do next. So I will cut you guys back on time lapse. from the wall part that went pretty smooth but trying to get it back out of there it was so tight wedge it did not want to move so I'm gonna take a breather for a couple minutes because that whipped my fat ass then I'm gonna turn around here before the cameras mount it start taking this stuff off this wall that way I can back the lawnmower up slide that thing over here get it up on the wall today uh, not sure if I'll get anything else done today because uh, my daughter's boyfriend's gonna be over tonight we uh, we're all having a big family dinner so I will cut you guys back on a time lapse here in a minute guys as you see I got them up there uh, they went up a lot easier than they came down uh, there's not as much space under them because these did not have feet on the bottom which that one did uh, it's not really gonna bother me I don't really care uh, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get a couple landscaping blocks which I have about a hundred of outside and uh, Put them underneath it. That way, that gap's full, and it will help support the weight of anything I put in it. Not that I think it'll be anything super heavy. Uh, this damn thing, it's got to go. I have tripped on it probably ten times a day. But, that gave me that opening. Now, I thought about it, and I almost did not move the lockers. The gap between the wall and the counter is exactly 36 inches well no it's 37 inches 37 is plenty to put my uh, lawnmower in however without thinking about it I never considered the bump out of the block down there and the lower portions I just measured to the stud 
which was stupid on my part. Uh, once again, did something retarded. But I can still fit the front end in pretty easy. Uh, I'm actually contemplating taking those metal jack stands and cutting the side down on the right and kind of form fitting them into that gap. That way I just pull the rear end up on the jacks. Then I have the entire area between the stud and the, the uh, counter. Uh, I'll have to modify both of them to do it. Uh, and I don't think that's going to happen today. So, I think that's where I'm at. This will do good for me. I don't use those ramps. Uh, one, they're, you know, 80 pounds or something. I mean, they're ridiculously heavy. And two, they were here when I bought the house. Uh, it's probably going to take me a while to get them apart because I moved them as one piece because they never come loose. Uh, in fact, I've never had them loose. So that's uh that's how that's all going now i did find something kind of neat uh, several years ago my cousin had access to a laser cutter and he made me this which i guess that way on this camera uh, it says caution hot and originally i was going to form that into the hood of a beetle uh where the exhaust comes, you know, through. But I'm thinking this might be the part of the hatch that I need. I think I might form that into the hatch and uh, go from there, you know. That'd look pretty cool, mount on the hatch, right above maybe the handle. But that's for uh, when we get all this done so I can get in here and start working. Uh, I have enough room left to right. The front to back is the issue. Um, I need room to put stuff. So I didn't get as far as I wanted today, but I think that's going to be it. Uh, I'll probably edit all this together and put it on tonight. Uh, unless something else happens, but I don't know that it will this evening. So I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, hopefully it will be a little better than this. I, I would love just to go ahead and knock all this out, but I wanted to do a little update. Because uh, I've been gone for a while, and that sucks. I, I haven't enjoyed it at all. So uh, I might do the rest of this off camera. I don't know. I might do it on camera. I don't know. Either way, if it's done when you come back or when I come back, I will show you kind of an overview of what i did so that all being said thanks for watching guys i promise i'm going to get back out here and get on the beetle soon uh, i i have to get it done so thanks for watching talk to you guys later hey uh like i said earlier my daughter and her boyfriend were coming over tonight and we were all having dinner well before dinner they decided to give me a hand i took from right down here, I took the uh, air compressor. And I don't know if you can really see it up there. It's way up there in the loft now. Uh, it's turned on all the time. It plugs into a, a receptacle up there with the exhaust fan. As soon as you turn the switch, the air compressor kicks on. Took the hose, ran it up across the garage door down here along the garage. And... I'm probably going to take this hose off. I've got a reel that I want to mount outside that will go almost to the end of the driveway. So this is all going to come down. It's going to tie to that because I don't really use air tools per se. Uh, the main reason I have the compressor is fill tires, stuff like that. So I think that's where I'm going to cut this off for today. I will definitely post this one. Uh, he actually filmed us getting it up there, so if I get the film, I will add it to this clip because it was pretty damn funny. And uh, I don't know, I think all, think well, him and my daughter and I, all three worked on it. And I do believe every one of us thought we were going to drop it, <laughs> but it worked. So I will see you guys on the next one.
<laughs> Can y'all pick it up? Breakfast? <laughs> okay, hold up. Do not push it towards me. Do not do that. Pull it straight up. Keep the bottom, keep the bottom. You got it? Don't drop them. Don't drop them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 